ever heard that expression that says the fastest way to get anyone to do anything is to let them think it was their idea in the first place? I think that my theory is that marriage is one of those things for men. That's Seems like I made you feel a little bad there. It's not that I feel bad. I just know that there are a lot of good men out there. Yes, there are. But they there are no, a but lot I do, of good no, men out there. No, but I, I yes. know that. I know that. But what I'm saying is, is that I, I do believe there are a lot of good men out there. Mm -hmm. Um, and I do believe that um, women want the good men to ally with them. Mm -hmm. But the problem is, is that often when women talk about the, the negative experiences they have with a lot of men, even the good ones will defend, you know, the men that are not even like them. Do you understand what I'm saying? Right. Um, so it can be like you were saying, it can be hard for women to differentiate between, you know, the good ones mm -hmm. and the bad ones, even though that's really bad language. But, you know, mm -hmm. what I mean? you know, um, it can be hard for them to, to do that. I understand. Um, and that's why um, I tell women, you know, because we're talking about, you know, people being loose. I remember <laughs> I had this conversation with this guy. He got really mad at me because he was talking about how um, um, this girl he was dating was really loose. Oh. And then I asked him, I was like, how do you know she was, how do you, how can you tell the difference 
between whether she was loose or if you were just small. Like, because I feel like men often spin things in a positive way toward themselves. And the only reason I asked, mm. how do you know she's too loose or you're too small is because when we even we talk about something like size, there's there's such a thing as size compatibility. So it's not that a woman is too loose or that a man is too small. They just may not be a good fit. You understand what I'm saying? <laughs> no, but it's true. <laughs> I'm, no, but, <laughs> no, but it's true. I mean, but there are things that they can do to no, no. And then a guy would be like, well, before I have sex with a woman, how would I know whether I'm going to be a good fit or not? The answer to that is that you won't know until you have sex with her. But what you can do is there are certain positions and things you can do that make you a good fit for her. Do you understand what I'm saying? I do. I had a, there's a reason I said that. I don't remember what it was. I was, was saying if you felt bad <laughs> for men, uh, you know, because I, like, I was just, you know, in relationships, I'm just seeing women like, mm -mm, not me. No, I'm good. Yeah, yeah because yeah. think about it. Mm -hmm. She's like, you're, you're not a good emotional support system. Mm. You keep telling me to have sex with you without wanting to learn how to make sex pleasurable for me. Mm. You want me to act like your mama cook for you, clean for mm. you, you know, do all these things. Mm. And then it's like, okay, no. And, and then what I, but what you're giving me in return is what? Which is why at the beginning of this pod, I was saying, this is why I get annoyed when men say, well, we will, if we love you, we'll die for you. It's like, yes, but you refuse to keep your dangling in your pants. To you, that is a bigger sacrifice than death. <laughs> like, what does that mean? Do you understand what I'm saying? It doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any, it sense. Doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any I sense. I want what I want. Let me want what I want because I'm a man. You should be okay with that. Yeah. And not divorce me for it. And not, do, and not divorce me for it. Yeah. Wow. Remember that conversation? Baby, uh, yeah. a little side chick. Wow. Remember that conversation we had when, oh um, I don't remember who it was that was saying that. I don't remember what it was, but it was a man that was saying that it makes sense for men to um, um, have sex with other women on the side when he's married because um, uh, it's not cheating, you know, because men are supposed to have multiple partners or some crap he was saying. Mm -hmm. And I was and I was asking you, I was like, okay, that that actually kind of makes sense to me. You know, his wife stops having sex with him and mm -hmm. he's a man, so he needs sex. So it makes sense for him to get outside of his marriage. Mm -hmm. But I would like to ask him, if you are not providing an emotional support for her, does it make sense for her to get that part outside as well? Mm -hmm. Because she needs that. So, okay, cool. You can go get that sex outside and she can go get that emotional support and that shoulder to cry on from other men too. No? I, I'm, I'm, I'm okay with that. Are men okay with but, that? And but... In turn, that would eventually, for her, turn into physical intimacy. As but well. it works the same the other way, too. Because men connect first through sex, but then comes the emotional, which is why they end up having mistresses that whose bills they're paying for. Do you understand what I'm saying? And then for women, it, it often can go the other way. So we live in a society that tries so hard to separate the act of sex from the emotional part of sex that we've come to this place where we're, in, we're just in this crappy place now. You understand what I'm saying? Everything you said. It's just we're just in this really crappy place. It's kind of like you know, like Jordan Peterson. A lot of people don't like him because he does say some wild things sometimes. You know, like black folks are not as smart as white folks. So he does say a lot of interesting things. But nevertheless, he is right when he says that um, monogamy isn't perfect, but it's the best solution we have for now for everyone. And I agree with that. Yeah. You know, I do. I agree with that. Of the what? Be chaos. That's why it's getting. That's yeah, why it looks like. Looks like it looks now. That's why it looks. That's why it looks how it looks now. Yeah, you know, I because it, yeah. before the men were like, "Give me the monogamy of the wife, and then let me have the side chicks on the side." And the women were like, "Well, I'm gonna just bang everybody." And then now the men are like, "Well, now women are too loose all over the place." And then, and, yeah, and no more ladies. And, anymore. There's no more ladies anymore. It's like, mm -hmm. why do we, you know? And it's like, do you want them to be ladies because you're indulging? But I don't know. Yeah, that's yeah. the part we left off. <laughs> that's the part I don't get. It's like there are no these women out here are loose. Okay. How many loose women are you banging? Uh, that's my only source of yeah. physical intimacy because I'm single. Yeah. So I just go to the club looking for an easy target and I go for it. Yeah. So you are participating in the same thing you're complaining about. You're participating. You're part of the, the problem. But well, I know. So you're going to blame men for women being loose? I mean. I'm going to blame both. That's no, what I'm going to do. No. Because it, it takes both of them to do it. I'm not going to fully yeah, put the blame on her. Yeah. It takes both of them to do it. Yeah. It does. Because, because the thing is, I know this too, is like when you're like, ah, oh, you're, you know, you're the one I chose to open your legs to. Help. And again, I always think it is, I hear that and it makes sense. But then I ask myself, if she were to open them to you, would you say no? And be like, because guys are like, bro, 
you mean to tell me if she pushed up on you, you wouldn't hit that? Like, that's a, that's a question they ask. And it's kind of like... So she's good enough to impregnate, but not good enough to marry. What does that even mean? Which, we should be um, segueing to the other thing you're going to say, which mm-hmm. we'll probably do another episode on, where you said how you want women to stop giving up their physical intimacy without some sort of commitment. Yeah, I, I, I tell, what I say is, the, the truth is, is that often we say that um, people say, oh, men will say women fall in love with you the second you have sex with them, which is not really true. Women can, women do not fall in love with every man that they have sex with. That is not true. Okay. <laughs> um, but I would still tell a lot of young women that those hormones and those neurotransmitters that are being released when you're having sex with this man mm-hmm. are beyond your conscious control. Mm-hmm. So if there's a man you know absolutely for certain you do not want to fall in love with, you know for certain I don't want anything to do with this dude. Mm-hmm. He's going to be a deadbeat. You know, mm-hmm. he's not he's not about anything. Do not have sex with him. And the reason for that is because that that uh, that um, what you want to call it? Um, the blinders that happen that that starts to make you feel like you're falling in love with this man. Mm-hmm. It's not really in your conscious control. Mm-hmm. Do you understand what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But nevertheless, it's not true that women fall in love with every man they have sex with. It's just that's, so. Do you believe true. it's true that you can't help who you fall in love with or who you fall for? I oh, no, you can because you cannot bang them. Okay. Or okay. Well, what if you don't bang them but you go out with them and you? How did you guys go out with them without saying yes to going out with them? Well, yeah. So then you Th- you doesn't chose... mean you love the person. Like so, the... No, but you chose to allow yourself to fall in love with them. Okay. Or you could have said, no, I'm not going to hang out with you. Or you could have said, no, I'm not going to bang you. No, I mean, I don't know. We don't, we, you don't just see somebody and you're in love with them. It's, there's a process. There's phone conversations. There's dates that happen. There's affections that happen that, that lead to that. No, I mean. I would beg to differ when I first saw you. I fell in love with you right away. And that concludes our episode of the Couples Development Podcast. Thank you everyone for watching. Um, thank you so much for continuing to support us. We'd like to hear your thoughts on this episode. Um, with both men and women, women, <laughs> women, um, is there hope out there for the bro- for the good brothers, you know, that are, you know, that are doing their thing and men, um, are you guys, I mean, they're the gatekeepers. So are you guys willing to listen or is this kind of like a, you know, it is what it is. I'll be single forever. BS card. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. We appreciate it. Um, leave a like. Please subscribe. And leave suggestions in the comment section as well. Take care. See you.